So if you want to extend the Wi-Fi range of your internet connection, you can use an old router to do this. This is from Verizon. This is an Action Tech router. My main router is at the end of the house and I ran a ethernet cable to my basement here and this will help me extend the Wi-Fi range. So you can configure the router by connecting it to a PC or laptop. You plug in a ethernet cable into any of these four ports here except you don't want to plug it into the one connection. Any of these four ports will do. And then the other end you plug into your Ethernet connection on your laptop or PC. And then you type your router address. And for most routers is 192.168. 0.1.1 and then that will bring up your uh, connection to your router and then you can do your configuration from there. So after you configure your router you can plug your ethernet cable into your one of the several ports here and you will have connection either by Wi-Fi or by hot wire to your main router. And that will allow you to extend your Wi-Fi range. So you can connect a uh, ring doorbell or some. So I've taken some screenshots and I'm gonna show you step by step. So basically you have to reset your router first by pressing a button in the back of the router and connect an ethernet cable from your router to your PC or laptop. And you have to do a couple of configurations when you connect to your old router. So you open up a browser on your laptop and you type in 192.168.1.1 that's the router address for most routers you can look up your particular address uh, by googling uh, your brand of router and then you type in admin and the password that is on the back of the router and then you click advance and then it will ask you whether you really want to do any changes. So you just click yes. And then click IPv6 to go into the configuration. And there you select. And there you select one configuration. You change it to none and then the LAN configuration you change it to stateless and then on the next screen here you can click my network on top and then click network connection on the left hand side and then click action that will bring you to this screen here and you click settings below so you can change the IP address. So now you have to change the IP address 
and you change the last box where you had one, you can change it to there's a range and I chose 220. So 220 should work fine. And um, if you want to change it to another number, just find out what the range is and then you can make that change. So after that, you can just click apply at the bottom screen there. And then uh, the, basically you're done. And on the next screen, you just have to see if you want to change the SSID or the uh, make sure that you have the right security set for your router. And I think the default is WPA2. So under wireless setting, you can change the SSID to the one you want to. Or you can leave it and just make sure you select WPA2 for your security setting. And I think the default for this router is WPA2. And then you're done and uh, save everything and lock out. And now your router should be working as a Wi Fi um, range extender. Alright, thanks for watching.